In kinetics, sometimes we have the reaction rate of one part of a reaction. We want to know the reaction rate of another part of the reaction. And in this case, we have the reaction rate for hydrogen burning in this reaction right here, which is the combustion of hydrogen with oxygen to produce water vapor. So we're told that the burning rate of hydrogen is 0.48 moles per second. And we want to know what's the weight of consumption of the oxygen. Well, the relative rates are related as follows and that's the rate, is we take this prefix here and we take the reciprocal, so that's one half and that's one over one, and it's minus because it's consumption, and that's minus one half the change in concentration of hydrogen with respect to time, and that's equal to minus one over one, we won't write down the one over one, but that's equal to the change of oxygen with respect to time as well. And if we were to continue on out, that would be equal to uh, positive this time, one half the appearance rate of the water vapor for the entire relationship of the entire reaction. But what we're really interested in is the relative rates, and that's these guys right here. Now, we can write this down, re just rewrite it as one half delta, the change of hydrogen with respect to time, is equal to minus the change in oxygen with respect to time. Now this rate right here is not that rate. This rate is not that rate. This rate right here is this rate. It's this guy. This is the 0 0.48 moles per second. And so we can write this finally as one half times this rate right here, which is 0 0.48 moles per second and that is equal to minus the change in oxygen with respect to time and this is what we're after we're after this rate right here the change in oxygen with respect to time that's what that means right there and so really we've already got it all we have to do is just go ahead and finish this out with our calculator and we have minus one half point four eight and we plug that into our calculator and we got 0 0.24 moles per second is equal to the change in oxygen with respect to time. And there you go. So there's a couple things to point out here. First off, this rate is the relative rate. This is the rate of the individual without the prefixes in front of them. So this rate is not that. That rate is specific to the hydrogen burning. Not only that, but if we write it out, keep in mind that whatever's on the left is going to have a negative sign in front of it, and whatever's on the product is going to have a plus sign, because this is being consumed, this is being produced. And finally, we're interested in the relative rates between the two, not this rate, although this rate is the same as, as that rate right there. But it's the relative rates, because we have the rate of 1. And so we just need to write it out, plug it in, and just solve. And there you go.